Hey, it's Jeff Gibbons here, and I'm going to show you how I made a song out of sounds from around my house that sounds sort of like a B-flat or a B. So, this may sound a little bizarre, but I seem to notice these B-flats and Bs kind of all around my house. And I thought, why not record them and chuck them onto a machine and see if I can make a song out of them. So, these are the sounds that I recorded. All right, so the first thing I did was to load all the sounds onto my computer and give them a name. And so you'll see things like baby monitor. And this is just the raw sound straight off my little handheld recorder. I would drop these recordings onto a sound in machine. So let's have a look at one of my favorites, which was the espresso recording. I'm gonna drop that on there. So the first thing I'm gonna do in machine is go over to sampling and you can see the sound effect right there. So I know there's a bunch of gunk at the beginning. And this little knob here trims where the sound effect starts. Something like that's probably pretty good. So that's showing me my start time. And then this will trim up the end time. And so what I'll do is I'll go to truncate. And I will chop that up so that it's just that section that I want. And then now what I'll do is I will go to normalize and hit apply. And that just makes the sound effect nice and loud. Some of the sound effects I loaded onto a pad, like this one here has most of my sound effects on it right here on each different pad. So I've got a speaker hit. This is the sound of the toaster, the toaster actually toasting. We've got the toaster beep that it makes when it's done. Another toaster. This is the alarm, our house alarm. And this is the baby monitor. Static. Car door. Casio watch. Classic. There's the espresso. Fireplace. Garage door. So those are my, my individual sounds and I play them a little bit like a drum kit. So that's how I made the main beat and just kind of played around with the drum beat like that until I got a nice groove going on and then I'd go in and tweak that groove a little bit. And then for the synth patches, like the espresso one, that's where I made my favorite bass sound. So just like that espresso one I was just showing you, this is my espresso bass patch. So there's the espresso sound. You can hear some of the coffee pouring in there. I also use the software to add some effects to it. So for most of them, I put some kind of reverb on, maybe an EQ. So this one has a lot of reverb on it and some EQ and that's about it. And if I go to other sounds, this is my alarm sound. I've got some reverb and some delay on there. So it kind of echoes. And if I go to the car beep, that one's got a lot of sound effects on it, so a lot of echo. And so of course these all, this whole song isn't just B flats. I, once I got my initial groove going in the B flat sound, I took it and went into sort of a B flat minor sort of thing. Um, all of the sound effects weren't exactly B flats. A lot of them were Bs. And so what I also had to do is go in and pitch them individually. So they all matched up. Once I've got my sound effects sort of loaded on, then I go into the sequencer in machine. Let's have a look at some of the different parts in the song. So this is kind of the main uh, verse of the song, I guess, if you want. So we've got the drum beat right here. So you can see the different, the different uh, drum hits that are happening. One of my favorite synths is the Alarma synth, and that's a sound effect made from the alarm of our house, just recorded and loaded onto this patch. Another thing I, I love about Machine is working with these scales. It's a little bit limiting to look at these 16 pads as opposed to an entire keyboard, but what you do with Machine is you can set it to scales. So I've got it set to a B-flat natural minor scale. And so as I play through these pads, 
I just got a nice B flat minor scale and I can play them um, a little bit differently than a, a piano. And so as a piano player, it's, it's a lot of fun to mess around with this new kind of technique. So it's not necessarily limiting. Sometimes it's actually more inspiring. It's a really kind of magical synth section coming from my Casio watch beep. So I played it like this. So let me just play the song. I'll put some footage underneath it and hit the subscribe button for more fun in the future.